Global Challenge. They're going to be one of the eight teams in attendance. And so by picking up the motivation perhaps for this one, maybe unable to do so. Na'Vi, Mad Lions, and a very promising Mad Lions after the first map. I'm excited to see what they've got in store for us as they up against the Na'Vi T side on a train. One of my favorites to cast. Let's see what twists and turns we have in store. So Roy actually looking to take a duel here. It's quite Three unusual. Here. Shush does once again stand and fight, put some pressure on them. They want to contain this. They don't want brown holes to be an open and shut case. And oh dear, that's a simple P250 and it couldn't be a better map for it. Okay, well they're going to accelerate towards Yard off that. They've picked up a freebie of a smoke here. That's going to help their ascent out Ivy. Even an upgrade into a USP. Yeah, I like this a lot. Oh dear. Refresh catches him off guard. He takes down Simple. Doesn't oh, have the bullets. It doesn't matter. He hasn't gone down. He tucks away. And now into the side comes Perfecto. A good flash. Refresh not down. Finished off finally. And a quick clean headshot into Roy. Oh, a th triple kill from Perfecto. He only needs one more. Shush is found. And that's an RV pistol, courtesy of the full squad. It's Perfecto's triple, though. If, uh, look, Simple didn't get that opening kill towards Ivy, there may have been real issues towards that yard position. The reason I stayed, that was Na'Vi were going for an inner fake. Here's that opening kill from Simple's POV. Lovely little one-tap there. And the three players that Mad Lions had towards the B bomb site, aggressive towards the box holes, they could see it was clearly just a fake. That deep connector smoke didn't worry them whatsoever. They had eyes on box holes. They saw that there was no pressure coming in to the site and they rotated everybody back towards yard perfecto's multi-kill that's all they needed but now they force bought acor onto the scout two swag sevens in play swag seven they made them both in towards pop so <laughs> that's gonna be uh very scary yeah this is even more scary though flame is just found the way into the site <laughs> See you later boys that force buy has not gone well electronic even gets a 900 dollars shotgun kill Wait, did Electronic buy that? I imagine a T-side shotgun came out. I'm sorry, what? The, the Ivy wrap. It's a, it's a perfect <laughs> oh, weapon, yeah. Chad. It's a perfect well, weapon for taking Ivy. We see that in the meta all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, classic. Second round shotgun Ivy lurk. That's interesting. Well, he had Flamey with him, so yeah. he was definitely bounding around, confirming there was nothing long range. Okay, so it will just be the save for Mad Lions. We can settle in right now. I don't think the round will be... I'm going to have some of these knickknacks. These are very Moorish. That's a good word. Moorish? Yeah, do you know that word? Does it mean you want more? Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, but yeah, look, all in all, this should be the third round on the board for Na'Vi here. It's just going to be the USPs and P2K in the hands of Refresh right there. And as we simmer into this one, if Mad Lions are able to maintain Pop Dog control and uh, not allow Na'Vi to be pressuring too much out of main, so really containing them to those two choke points, you might be able to see them net a haul of rounds here. But as soon as Na'Vi gets space in towards Yard, Oh, hello, Flamey. One second now as the MAC-10. It might actually pick up a big hole of kills. He only grabs one, and Shush will survive on seven points of health. They do have the MAC-10, but unless they can get kills with it, they don't need it next round. Yeah, I'm not so convinced that that's going to be seeing the light of the third. I would love to see if Electronic keeps this, though. The alligator, move that into the next round. See how much damage you can do with that one, maybe dropping him into pop early. Uh, but my point about Na'Vi, if you can contain them to the choke points and, and make sure that they can't get into Yard, not for free, but in the sense of they get out into Olaf, they push out towards Evox, that's when you're going to find yourself in a world of hurt. I think Simple and Electronic have a fantastic job of playing off each other once they do have space. So denying that should be name of the game. And they have uh, Shush, I believe, as their inside anchor. Acor will be rotating around. You got Refresh dealing with the Ivy plays, and that's going to allow Hooksy to be playing with Roy up close and personal towards pop and main position. So those two right there with Acor are going to be the trio to deal with a lot of the aggression out main and pop. And we okay. will get the buys coming through. So Acor immediately onto the AWP. We must see that from him. Five, uh, sorry, four M4s, and no defuse kit going into the first gun round. So if the bomb goes down, keep your eyes on Mad Lions. They might just opt for the save. Electronic does upgrade to an AK-47. He won't be bringing the alligator out. What is Na'Vi's go-to here? Waiting for the right time to deploy. And two smokes, one E-Box, one Ivy. Acor has the info, though. Pre-aiming for the jump across, as well as anyone going for the pallet peak. Oh, Roy, what have you got in store? If they start breaking windows... Oh, they're containing them here. This is a good molly from Boomich. Like, now oh he's gosh. stuck in there. Yeah, he's taken a lot of damage and finished off after being softened up down to 47. The MAC-10, oh, what a perfect flash. That's Na'Vi's every day of the week. They're looking as drilled as Mad Lions did on their T side of Nuke. That was very good stuff. 
Hello, info, jiggle, fights and takes the shot. Acor trying to level the odds, but already losing Shush, losing Acor. The Franks just keep coming, flowing for Na'Vi and poor Roll Refresh. Well, he's vulnerable. I think he may have even been spotted. It looks like Simple hasn't made the call, despite being able to see just a tiny glimpse of him. Blamey going down, but quickly traded. Na'Vi off to a flying start. You can see Roy was putting really uncomfortable set of circumstances there. Yeah, we actually uh, have that Molotov on replay, I do believe, to show the viewers at home. Now take a look at this. You've got Boomage here. He's lining it up there. Take a quick little screenshot of this, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to learn this one at home. Standing on up. Window broken. Crouching. It's not easy, this is it? This one stands, and away you go. Now, that is going to lock any of the pop players in. They've got some options. They either have to extinguish it, they have to run through the flames, they have to stand and fight. And stand and fight didn't work as a very good option for Roy right there. So back down to the pistols for Mad Lions. As all in all, things are looking fantastic for Navi in the early stages. Force the rotation back towards the inner bomb site. Rotation from all four of them. It's just Acor towards Yard hanging around the bomb train. But that's a great opening. Shush has found the head. Fortunately, yep. Yeah. Just the one on the way in. Oh, a scout tag. It's not enough for a frag. It's been finished off before. That vulnerable flamey HP could be punished. Now V5, Mad Lines nil. Okay, so Hooksy and Roy are yet to frag. Now, this is only our second gun round we have in play, but those two really keep your eyes on them because if they can't contain Pop Dog and they can't contain Main, which they've just struggled with in the previous, this could really spiral out of control because if Mad Lions then opt to go for more of a passive setup, that's when you have players up Heaven on the bomb train, your AWP in the back lines, your rifle a little bit more passive towards the back tracks. Na'Vi will take those liberties, they will take that space and they will punish you. So Acor trained towards main. There's the standard utility and simples in pop. Smoked off. Shot fired. That's going to keep them honest. But into main they go. And there you see Hooksy. He falls 0 0 6 right now. Things are getting better and better for Na'Vi. I wonder if simple shot incited Hooksy to try and get away. There was a smoke there now. We need territory. This is good. Oh, no. Completely caught out. Acor goes down again. Roy standing his ground. And this time, Flamey catches him standing. Lovely work from the top of the ladder. They're just getting every fight they need. It's every round now. Na'Vi getting something favorable. This is good. Refresh tags up one and finds the other. Electronic both dueling with him. Oh, and Simple eventually wins the War of Attrition. A one versus three, but slightly winnable. They are softened up. And that was the necessary first. Shush, though, will he be anticipating that pop dog player? Don't just get him here, surely. He's just tucked in into time, and he's found the head. A 1v3 starting to manifest. Upgrades to the AK, and he's oh. found it as well. Mad Lions gifted the first of our second map, courtesy of Shush. He even scavenges away an AWP as well. Oh, that is a huge round to win right there. That's one that normally sends Na'Vi into Tilt Town. <laughs> the timeout's going to be taken from Mad Lions, and that means they just need to discuss their buy, but this was fantastic work. They had no right winning this round, and Shush has played this one to perfection. I thought Boomish had him dead to rights every day of the week, but that final frag just there, and that's a nice one to win, so that's going to inspire a little bit of confidence within the team. They have to Acor pick him up. Gets his AWP. Yeah, Acor even gets dropped across this AWP, but the reason the timeout's being taken is because they need to discuss their buy. You can see Roy, Hooksy, and Refresh. They are hovering around the full buy mark. It's not enough, and you can see what's happening. They're actually dropping guns across here. So Roy's been given an M4. Shush has gone into the MP9. That's meant that full utility can be purchased on through for three of them. Refresh onto a Famous. They've made it work. It's not great. It's not ideal. Na'Vi definitely have a much better hey, man. Hey, Shush. Yo, thanks for the 1v3. Here's an MP9. Thanks, bro. <laughs> we know you're playing uh, Anchor inside. Let's hope they don't come and try and punish you. Good yeah. luck. Fingers crossed. I hope you got a smoke grenade and you can just jiggle and throw. That's pretty much all he's going to be getting to do for the ro most of this round. Flamey and Simple are going to test him, but Acor wants a little bit of an IV look. Flashed off, but fine. Simple this time. A bit more of a commitment to his pop line than previously. And Acor sticking around. An aggressive AWP denied by Electronic for now. Lots of early util from both so sides. Much. Jostling for position right now. No one's got the better of this just yet. I really like Acor's backtrack position. He can really support. He's actually given that one up. So another CT smoke arrives, Ivy. There's still 70 seconds left in the round. That's insane when you consider we're only working with four flashes and a HE. Yeah, they the really lines. are nervous, man. 
or whether or, whether or not this is all intentional. I don't know why they'd be so concerned about a quick Na'Vi round. It's not necessarily like a team known for the fast pace. Admittedly, this one has passed in the blink of an eye the first six rounds of play. Flash for info. Nobody home. Two flashes left now. Yep, and we still have 50 seconds. Oh, no. Na'Vi have just basically got everything they need. Now it's time to do what we set out to at the start. You throw out your U-Tilt. Flash is going to come over that rooftop. Acor's going to be safe from them, or at least partially too far away. Yeah, look at that. He's got vision. He has to hit this shot. And he does. Perfecto caught just on the cross now. Brought down to size. Boomich into the side from Ivy. Refresh holds his nerve. It's Acor on the bomb train. A lot of pressure being applied. Simple continuing to frag. Electronic as well. They're filling the feed. It's all brown on blue. Na'Vi doing Na'Vi things. And you said it shouldn't come down to him. Can he really hit us with three? Not to be. All right, still problems. Now, we know that that shush round was a massive clutch. It was the first round to get Mad Lions on the board, but to replicate it, to actually string some together was going to be more and more. But Acor, even with that opening frag, it wasn't enough. You can just see once they get that space, they isolated all these jewels, and that's where the star power of Simple and Electronic can really shine. Oh, we've got some young viewers tuning in today. Hopefully they're enjoying the show. Now, V up 6-1 to one now on their map choice. Map 3 will be overpass if we require. Pistols back out for Mad Lions now, and feels like we've seen them on eco time after time. Roy wanting space again, locked in again, naded again. He's not having much luck over towards Pop, and Hooks, he's even having less of it. 0, zero 8 now for the new in-game leader of this Mad Lions team. Being absolutely beaten and brutalized towards Main and Pop Dog as this duo. More kills fall in their favor. Shush will find a consolation frag, and, well, this is a one on four. Go on, Shush. <laughs> Give it another go. Not sure he even fancies it. He's going to go through in a... I love his picture. Look at his picture. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I read uh, some comments. I think Devil Walk made a tweet about it, and someone replied that something like when their mum tells you, you get broccoli for dinner or something. Hmm. Once you get older, broccoli's pretty good, kids. Yeah, I recommend broccoli. Good source of iron. Stay away from the Brussels sprouts. But... Cauliflower is a poor man's broccoli. Yeah, look, they, they really do like to substitute broccoli in lieu of... I mean cauliflower in lieu of broccoli and i i, I don't think it looks the same but they are not they're not the same the texture's not even close not even rush you prefer broccoli or cauliflower broccoli a hundred percent it's delicious it man it, it it actually makes you feel good when you yeah. eat it that's the weird thing you know my uh, parents used to have to do a, a play a game to trick my sister into eating broccoli oh yeah when she was very young uh she refused to eat broccoli so we would all uh pretend to um look away we'd say i hope a dinosaur doesn't eat these trees oh yeah and so we'd all at the dinner table have to cover our eyes and then she'd be the dinosaur and she'd eat the trees and we'd go, where did the trees go, Grace? Where did the trees go? Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a nice little trick for all you parents out there. Or well, soon yeah. to be. Uh, yeah. Treat your kid like a dinosaur. Yeah, she had a really bad 16th birthday, though. <laughs> <laughs> Still, we are back into the action <laughs> and we do have two orbs in play, a smoke early and an aggressive boomage. What have you got for us today, young man? Oh, he's doing the Carrigan maneuver right now. He's got another kill. Hooksy. Sorry, oh. mate. Zero nine. Oh, it's getting it's really getting tough out there. <laughs> okay. Hold up. Okay. Never mind. Everyone calm down again. This looks like another Navi round, unless Acor has something to say about it. Bang, and the problem isn't solved. Acor still lives. Perfecto could be strafing into that very man's aim. Cautious on the jiggle. Those were spotted. Found. 1v1. Acor so impressive on the first. He's a quad kill here. Simple's going to peek into him. He's going to have to react. The scope, sound. Oh, oh and a missed miss. shot. A chance, a new lease of life for Acor, and he gets the hell out of dodge. Now, Bomb is on Simple's back, and so the freedom to plant is his. Oh, spots him and hits it. Exceptional from Acor. Two rounds so far for Mad Lions and both off the back of clutches. Yeah, individual ability of the Mad Lions players really on shot. show in those rounds. See that again. So Boomich really did open up the round. It was a nasty one for Hoopsie who has yet to frag, but Acor finds four in this round. Two so far. There's the third and the fourth. Exceptional. Look at this. He has no aim. Has to get his eye to the scope and pluck simple before his boots can touch the ground. Great shooting. Peacemaker just happy to have another round on the board. Yeah, the problems are when you're winning rounds like this, you really need to start getting consecutive rounds because the money is great for Na'Vi. They're able to purchase on in again. Aggressive oh. orping. Refresh on a secondary? Hello. 
And that was supposed to be Hooksies. That's not fair. There it is. Perfecto goes down. And the toe spotted. Simple. He's trying every trick in the book and trying oh. to shoot off the ladder. That's ambitious. I'll give points for the attempt. Yeah. Audacious. Creativity. Somehow I feel like they win this. Not anymore. Shush has gone aggressive and catches the hunting electronic, puts him into a 1v4 scenario with basically the whole round to play out. And he's a problem now for Na'Vi, so Simple needs to do a lot of damage here. Two more kills, get the oh, magic number of three. Is that Simple's AWP? I don't know, maybe it's broken. It, it could be someone else's, but either way, interesting to see, I think it's about an eight pound skin with about a 500 quid sticker on it. Oh, okay, you still know your skin game, do you? Oh, he's got eye by power of Katowice. Ah. It's on a graphite, which I'm pretty sure I had, and I couldn't afford many cool skins when I first got skins. So I think the graphite was about eight pound. Pretty cool. And bye-bye, Acor. Maybe this Kutch has got some legs. Simple. Makes quite the announcement of his presence into main. Hooks, he's holding the cross and he's missed it. That's no fun. The underperforming in-game oh. leader from Mad Lions has given Simple room to move and room to fill his lungs with a fresh set of air as the bomb goes down. This looks so winnable now. Both players for Mad Lions on the A bomb site. Bomb goes down, sound cue comes through, and they know that they're in the wrong place. And simple, he could be anywhere. Yeah, he can eva He could just completely evaporate now. They've got, they've got to answer so many questions, and I quite like that they're traveling as a pack. Kit, Hooksy, Smoke, Shush. Combined, that's a lot of pressure on an AWP trying to clutch. I hope they don't waste too much time. Oil is the jewel. He hears them. And he hits the crazy quick scope. Simple. On for the 1v4. This is exceptional. He's running out of time. Shush needs the kit. The smoke's on it. He doesn't have the kit. Oh. He baits him in. Does he have the time? He doesn't have the kit. And Simple's done it. Just like that, the star of the show steals a round from four mad lions. They're going to be kicking themselves, dropping oh. that one there to Simple. Absolutely phenomenal play. It was starting to look like they might be able to muster a bit of a CT side, and then this happens. The quick one-two punch. From there, that miss shot, away he goes. The bomb goes down, and wow, that's where the simple show really starts. Look, he doesn't get the final kill. The blade comes out. If there was a kit on Shush, there may have been some real problems. But you can see Flamey having a bit of a giggle about that one as well. Oh, wow. That went from nothing to everything in two shots. Yeah, I think the frustration of Peacemaker probably says it all about this first half. Now, it's not done and dusted oh. just yet. Na'Vi, they do have the lead. They do have the half in their back pocket. He start, that's, that round started with him going for that ladder shot, right? Yeah. He was trying every trick in the book, as you put it. Well, at this point, it will be a bit of a uh, technical timeout, I do believe. Hopefully get this one back underway momentarily. But Na'Vi are looking like they're trying to... Uh, well, get revenge for map number one. Nuke was fantastic from Mad Lions. We loved what we saw. Their T side, the way that they were abusing their rotations, they were punishing Flamey over towards ramp. And now it feels like they're on the receiving end of just some of that punishment. Hopefully we can get this one back underway any That's second. That's the effect of a, of a 1v4. Yeah, the internet's gone out. Someone's <laughs> accidentally kicked the router. Them. Yeah. Ping issues. There you go. They will resume ASAP. All right. Well, uh, maybe this is a good time to check in with our scoreboard. Rush, can we see the scores on the doors? Sure. MC, bring her up. I should be asking MC. All right. I'll, I'll cut out the middleman from now on, MC. Okay. So here you can see the struggles. We'll start with the Mad Lions side. Uh, Hooksy, one kill. I said that him and Roy, who also only has two kills, needed to be a force to stop Pop Dog and Main. Well, they've had a rough time of it. Shush with that clutch. He's sitting on nine frags. Acor with his clutch as well on eight. And then Refresh. He isn't really in the mix of the action. More over towards the Ivy position on the CT side. He has six kills to his name. For the Na'Vi squad, we have Electronic with seven. Six for Boomich. Perfecto with nine. 10 for Flamey and Simple with 14 frags and a fantastic one on four we saw just there to post the eight. <laughs> I actually round. just opened up the stream to watch it again. That's oh, what yeah? I've, I've just watched it happen again. Um, yeah, really valiant attempt, that quick scope onto the oil train, but they just were a little too out of time. Oh, well, thoroughly enjoyed that. What's so impressive to me is that we watched that pretty much the whole round from Simple's POV, right? Yeah. And you saw how often he took a chance and it didn't work out. Like, there was four or five shots, easy quote-unquote shots he missed. Yeah. And then he won the 1v4. It's just this kind of mentality he made where he can reframe and restructure his mind, not get too thrown off. It, it's still early days. Now, this half of Mad Lions are able to bounce back and get into this game and post an 8-7 scoreline, and they have a, a well-worked T half and they can, in the same way that they're on Nuke, punish some of the tendencies and plays of the Na'Vi players, then sure, yeah. this map could still be on. But 
if this is an 11 4 T half from Nafi, we pack our bags and we head over to Overpass because this is very unlikely to see a comeback from Mad Lions. You no, know, if, if we get Overpass, there is a lot of questions I have as to the, you know, the level of, of T side we get out of Mad Lions. Of course, the same question stands here on train, but I feel like there may be too much of a burden from the first half for us to fully appreciate sure. it. I do think it'd be cool to see Overpass from a uh, T side perspective of Mad Lions, see if the, what they've got after their convincing stuff on Nuke. But regardless, we've got to get through train first, and that's, of course, an if, but, and a maybe. Now, uh, I don't know how long we have until we get this one back underway, but I know that Rushley, he's been keeping his, uh, his ear to the ground quite closely. And uh, there's been some rumors recently, Alex, about uh, a new operation. Rushley, oh, come on our reporter, Hello. our man on the ground. Yes. What has been happening? So I've been looking on the Twitters, you know, I've been looking on the YouTubes, I've been looking for any kind of little bits of information I can get my mm. grubby little hands on. And? And uh, it seems like possibly this is all, uh, you know, um, I don't actually know, but hopefully a new operation soon uh, with some hopefully. danger Sick zone work. stuff, maybe, oh. it's a tripwire or something like now, that. Now, how do you know this so Alex can have a little bit more context? Uh, I just watched a YouTube video where it basically just said it all. Um, okay, but the, it, there are files in the game yes. that they were able to... Yeah, and there are actually assets in the game. Like, there's a couple of new crates in uh, Danger Zone. There's a, a Deagle slash Revolver crate, I believe, which I'm very excited about. I Deagle do love uh, the Revolver. Big fan of it. Chad loves it. Whenever I get a kill with that, he goes mental. Love the Revolver. He oh. loves it. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be really fun. It should be a dungeon game mode as well apparently yeah. so that this, sounds really cool this one as, as a mythic to. plus dungeon extraordinaire it, it, wow. now they don't they don't know exactly what it's going to be but the way that they were framing it it sounded like rush it's like a survival mode like you yes. go down and it's randomly generated what level you come into or something oh. like that yeah, it's procedurally generated i believe uh it's like a elevator system so you go in an elevator you go to a floor you have to fight your way through that floor and you just have to get to the highest floor from oh, what i'm aware okay so it's kind of like torghast in shadowlands from world of warcraft yeah, yeah exactly sword art online you know where they're trying to get to the top you know <laughs> But I think that with that kind of thing, for those who have played the last couple of operations, the, it just be, sounds like a co-op mission, doesn't it, Rush? It'd probably be a team-based. Yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah. And I'd that's be where you have the heavy it, suits with the extra armor possibly. and extra HP. I would be surprised if it's more than two. I think it would be two-player only, I think. All right. Well, uh, I've just gotten word we're about to get this one back underway. Rush didn't say this just there, Alex, but uh, he's been talking to the Valve devs, and they said 128 tick servers are 100% coming. And if it, if he's wrong, put it all on Rush. That was Rush, yeah. yeah so that was Rush, the one, two, three, wow. four, five, six over Thanks. there. Rushly, one, two, three, four, five, six on uh, Twitter. I appreciate wait. that, man. We're getting back underway. Freeze time now ticking on down, and we'll see what buyers we're working with. I think the Mad Lions might be feeling a little bit of shell shock from that simple round just to get us back into it. The score line, eight to two in favor of Na'Vi, and it looks like a partial buy for Mad Lions. A scout has been purchased for Shush. We can see Hooksy there with a CZ, five, seven, and a couple of Deagles. So all in all, Mad Lions need a mad one. To get on the board here with yeah, a third round. When Na'Vi play train, though, it just feels so effortless. They're just, they, they've just they got so many different default playbooks that you can see teams, at one point we even watched Mad Lions just dumping their util out of the fear. uncertain. <laughs> fear, yeah, for lack of a better word, fear. And now the first of Na'Vi's utility is deployed, and there's the reaction. Immediately they get what they waited for. A smoke towards the deep inner sight. Insight, Hoaxie. Oh, Flamey confirms this one. There they dunk on Roy. He's been having a real nightmare half when it comes to this pop dog utility. They're locked in. See you, mate. Accelerating up the ladder. He gives it a go. Go on, Acor. Go on, son. Flamey's down to 17, but it's not enough. And this one up against uh, full bought up Na'Vi meets its expected result. Shush, nice headshot on the scout. Now, uh, I'm not going to put too much stock in Shush there as he goes down to simple. I want to give you guys a bit of a stat line. Roy and Hooksy combined so far are currently sitting at 0 and 8 in terms of opening jewels. Roy and Hooksy combined have died 8 times as the opening kills this game so far. And there's 9 rounds on the board for Na'Vi. They've only managed three opening frags, one from Shush, one from Acor, and one from Refresh. The rest has been one-way traffic for Na'Vi until this point, and it's been spread out. We've got Simple with one, we've got Flamey with two, we've got Boomich with a couple. Perfecto and Electronic have contributed in that fashion as well. So it really just is that duo, and I'm not putting it completely on them. There's obviously other ways that you could deal with this, other setups that you can do, and Na'Vi are looking fantastic. Holy moly. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I just, I didn't. I just reacted when someone tweeted me the I B the I buy power hollow, the yeah. one that I was referencing. I yeah. think I said it was five hundred bucks. What's it worth now? Uh, Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand dollars for a sticker, virtual sticker. Twelve thousand yeah. virtual sticker, Chad. Um, okay. <laughs> so the human race is absolutely peculiar. This is what happens when you have all of your life amenities and demands that you are coded to desire in everyday life. You have them and then you look for new problems because you're no longer scared about the saber-toothed tiger at the front of your cave. 
I'm spray right through now. the smoke and $12,000 for a stick. A stick. I don't think he's got the hollow one, has he? Simple got the hollow one? I'm not even going to argue. I'm not a skinhead. <laughs> well, I'm not. Not, not, not a fan of skin <laughs> either. Um, all right, all right. Oh. Well, this looks like it's going to be an inner hit. So it is a change of pace from Na'Vi as we've come out of the timeout on that partial buy. Looks like they're setting up to put all the pressure on Shush here, and he's going to have to deliver in a big way. Molotov and Flash to work with. Here comes the nades. What can he give us? Looking like that in a hit. The util starts to be deployed. Shush desperately looking for any info he can get. They're already flooding in Speedway. They've got so much space thanks to their utility. Look at this. They're charging up. Look how much space they've taken. The bomb plant's just still being considered. Perfecto's the one to punch in the digits, and, well... This retake's gonna be a full five on five. Change now by Roy. Announces his presence in a flurry of brown on blue. A double kill for the stars of Na'Vi's show. Nacor wants a way in, but he's also got to be hesitant. Don't forget, Mad Lions, they got 3,400 into the next. They have nothing. Molly's for Shush to take his duel. Electronics pre-aiming it. Oh. Oh, 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 doesn't catch him. Good frag. Needs another. Perfecto has gone down. It's all onto Flamey. They have time. They have kits. Mad Lions on the retake. The dunk's not going to finish him off. Shush oh. goes down. He can do this. Opts for a fresh mag. No problems for Flamey. He clutches up. Using time as his best friend. He's got all the time in the world for a fresh mag before he takes that final frag. 10-2. Mm -mm. Na'Vi in absolute control of this train. Second map. Look at the control. Flamey gets the first, he gets himself chilled, expects the push, finds the necessary, and now refresh, yep. A fake, and calls the bluff perfectly. Perfect round there from Flamey. The only other key to success in that round would have been picking up the AWP, but they got money to work with. Simple will buy one back in himself, and Mad Lions, it's just a familiar story. They're back in the uh, washing machine that is down to pistols the ct side she's a cruel mistress 3400 it doesn't net you enough if you bottom out your bank balance for a buy you have to take a partial investment and you can see once again scout for refresh we've got five sevens for roy and shush they've also opted to back that up with a bit of armor eagle for hooksy acor on a p250 and there's a tag so that's not a bad start but that's not great it's not three of them are in up ivy as well Okay, well, Electronic is low, so let's keep our eyes on that. The Scout, still up. This is possible right now because we know that Na'Vi can flub some of these later round situations when the clock runs down. There's a minute on the clock. Hooksy has territory. Roy, thank God, hasn't been harassed over to Pop Dog for once. Poor guy. They still maintained White Walls control. That's through the likes of Perfecto, but they don't have box holes, so they don't know if anybody else has pushed up behind that. Yeah, but this has been, like, I spent a whole year of my casting or hosting career watching Na'Vi train games and saying, they're doing nothing. They just walk around T-Spawn for 30 seconds and then go. <laughs> but the reality is this is all part, especially against this kind of buy, this is part of the machine. Well, look have got what so done. many different ways, exactly, to spread them out across the map due to that uncertainty. Three of them are on the wrong map, and Boomich is only... Backing up on their suspicions. Come on, Hooksy. Their paranoia. Hooksy's had an absolute nightmare of a game. Acor stole his second frag, and this one's no better. Taken down. Executed by Boomich. And then with an, an armored row and a scout on refresh, there is a universe where electronics low HP cost them, but the bomb has been planted. And if Acor reacts, go on. Oh, no way. Tagged him enough. Refresh does finish it off. And the two best two opportunities. Two. Yeah, and AK's been recovered. Simple's dueling. Pop Dog can finish the job. Where is he? Does find it. Now all onto Perfecto, and he's gone down as well. Mad Lions overcome the adversity with a double kill thanks to the double R. Now think about the three rounds that Mad Lions have posted a Shush clutch, an Acor clutch, and an Eco victory. So they're not the ones we're looking for. It's great that they have three rounds on the board. They could even post five here on the half as money has become a bit of an issue for Navi going into round number 14. We do have another timeout coming through here, but this is how it's kicked off. So fantastic work with the 5-7 there. Roy down, Pop Dog onto Boomich, and then they pincered from Ivy and that pop position to find the final two. But these aren't clean rounds. When you're playing a game of Counter-Strike and you're on the CT side of a map like Train, you want to be seeing them winning with the rifles, locking them out of main, having some clear, concise rounds. That's not to be right now, as it does look like we are going back into the realms of maybe another ping issue. So we'll bring back in our favorite man with the plan. Hello. You are, I'm assuming uh, it. Who me? Uh, well, we were hoping you'd got MC a mic, but oh, okay. I guess you'll do. All right, fair enough. Um, uh, TS down, TS crashed, TS crashed, and then simple typed XD. XD. Did he uh, XD. lowercase the X and capitalize the D? All lowercase. Uh, of course he did. He's too cool for that. 
No one's pressing shift in Simple's universe. XD with a lowercase. Yeah, man. I don't know. I bet you even, even threw in that like kind of the Russian bracket without the dots. Yeah, that's, that's where they do the, do the smiley smileys. Face. But you, it's quite fun because you can just have like four smileys in a row. You just hold down the bracket for how much you're smiling. It actually makes sense. I don't know if I've ever been able to smile that much. <laughs> yeah, Chad wouldn't be using the bracket all too often. Maybe more of a square. The other way, I'll use the bracket the other way. Oh, we've got some Smiley different face. different emotes. We've got a cap of pride. I'm learning. I don't know what that one is. That's a pog. Is, is that it? a pog? I don't know. Russia's got them printed out for us. They are massive. I don't know if you've seen them. The I saw a couple cutouts. around the office. They are huge. So we're going to have to get Rush, maybe depending on uh, how the next kind of segments pan on out, we might have. There we go. But, no, but without no dots. the dots, Rush. Get rid of the you dots. Loser. They don't use those. Thank Well, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Oh, that's kind of satisfying. Well, you only get a certain amount of rope or something yeah. if you use it on the other end. <laughs> oh, <it's>, uh <laughs> 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 All right. Well, uh, we're about to get this one back underway. We've got uh, Techers that Wreckers. There's four of them in total on the Navi side with utility. So they've gone for a half by here on round number 14 in the first half. Might just be a set piece towards that B-bomb side again. They had a lot of success. Now, keep your eyes when they go for this set piece. They like to push down the lanes and then rotate back into the bomb site. That gives multiple angles for an anchor like Shush to have to deal with. If he stands and fights, he's going to be swarmed from all directions. If he drops back into retake, the pistols get what they want. They take territory. Four gathered. Oopsie's the one in pop this time. Roy has actually rotated in with his rifle. Last time, this inner hit worked out really, really well with the util used. It bought them a lot of space, but a new stance from the CTs. And in we go. Shush to be tested, flashed off. Roy too. They were charging up Speedway as they did previously, and that's the angle Shush is responsible for. It's only one from Electronic, and he hasn't been able to stop the bomb plant. Roy does, though. Electronic lives to tell the tale. He's actually gotten away for just a moment longer. Refresh ensures the round's not going to slip away, and so this 10-4 dream starts to become more of a reality. It is an armored P250. Simple. Very few ways in. I'd be impressed if he even gets a kill here. I know it's simple, but this is a very difficult task. They're all trained on the box holes. There is a chance for a flank refresh is looking towards that now, but even still, how does he find a timing on this? Yeah. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, no way. He gets two of them, and he spots the man. He hits it. Refresh loses his head, and I lose my mind. How? Oh. How? How? How did they bank that he wasn't crossed box holes? I what was the timing? No idea. He gets away with murder. What was the timing on Hooksy looking up P2 into box holes? one v three, Chad. I literally just said I'd be surprised oh. if he gets a single oh. kill. Oh, Flavy can't even. But that's the face I'm pulling. What is that? Bloody Nora. What was that? All right, last round of the half. There we go, Roy. Yes. He's got some success towards Indication. Pop. Oh, my God. Indication. I, I'm going to go back and watch the timing on that low ramp. I, uh, all right, we'll finish this. We'll finish the half. Everybody can take a two-minute breather, and we'll come back. But right now, Madeline still could get that fourth, not in the way that we had previously imagined. That was insane. Oh, I need, to, I, need to, I need to piece my brain back together. Oh. Like the refresh jewel, I was. Just, I feel like I. I don't know, uh, Alex. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to seeing that one again. I will open the stream up once we get this half wrapped up. <laughs> Want to see that one manifest one more time? Okay, well, they've dug themselves out of holes deeper than this, but I don't think with simple gone, they've got much of a shout. Boomich disagrees. He's taken the head off refresh at great cost. Down to just 10 HP. Luke not again. Caught out. Nearly kills his teammate, but it's all over. 11 to 4, the half of our second map. Navi in full control of their pick. And Simple is insane.
Feeling lost inside Well, we've got our heads back in gear. I wonder if Mad Lions have as well. Feels almost like a guarantee that an overpass will be seen. Our third map of the series. Her machine, I'll be commentating with Mr. Sponge. Chad Fink in the chat. <laughs> what a first half. Simple 1v4, Flamey 1v3. I think even Chad 1v3. ahead of that saying, I'll be surprised if he even gets one kill yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> next minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, all right. Well, the odds eh, swings and roundabouts here today. Navi back as the heavy favourites as Matt Lyons have already taken some territory towards Yard. Roy out towards Olaf, Smokes towards Ivy. And the front of Bomb Train Symbol actually forces forward. I'm sure he's feeling confident. Okay, Roy bouncing in and does manage to get the cross there a bit shaky, but he stabilises just in the nick of time. Two of them down to 15. Good damage. They need to convert it, though. These Glocks will work better in unison. And Hooksy spotted, needs to finish the job. One bullet would have done it. One bullet finally found. found. And while well, Flamey, with his low HP, still peppers away at Hooksy. Electronic reveals that he's been lingering in Ivy. And he's the one with the kit smoke. So powerful, potent mix, but no armor for this 2v2. And well, that may not stop Electronic. He's dueling, juking with Shush. Wow, wow. counter strafe is perfect. Echo can win this. Oh, the flash is perfect. Surely he's done. Are they going to clear hell? Spots him. Needs to take the duel, and Electronic has won them that round. A triple kill, no less. On the CT pistol. Cool, calm, collects the defuse. Yeah, good stuff from Na'Vi. So that's 12 on the board right now. Scoreline 12 to 4 in favor of Na'Vi. This is their map choice. We do have Overpass coming up next as the third. And I say coming up next, this one here. <laughs> I'm sure it's done. When they're hitting shots like this, he even got a little spot of the leg there. So perfect play from Na'Vi, and there we go. So we have a smile in Electronics' face. Everything has fallen in their favor in this game. Sure, there was a couple of wobbles. They lost the clutch to Acor. They lost the clutch to Shush. They lost that eco round. But all in all, Na'Vi have had their fair share of steals as well. So it is going to be some dropped across guns. We have three AK-47s purchased on through, and this is the last chance saloon for Mad Lions. If they go down without finding any impact whatsoever, you can call this one done. 
decor could be spotted. Electronic doesn't continue his hunt and now tucked in on our off. Shame you're only a scout. Hero AK on refresh and shush. Gonna try and be that hero. Tagged. Good shot so far from the scout, just whittling them down so Electronic can finish them off. It looks like Flamey's doing the job already. Another nightmare for Hooksy. Refresh got good timing here, it takes a lot of space. Electronic has not been stopped yet. His tip of his head visible, but his teammates all gone. They know Refresh was backtracks and simples in such an off angle. Gets one, but not the second. Quickly traded, Na'Vi are on for the speed run of train. Yeah, and look, Hooksy, he did have a very, very rough first half along there with Roy. One kill for Hooksy. Roy was down the bottom of the barrel with only a handful as well. And in terms of opening deaths, Hooksy is uh, really hemorrhaging quite a lot from the early stages. So the in-game leader going to be feeling a little bit worse for wear. But this isn't their map choice. They've only had since the start of October and the formation of this new Mad Lions roster to bring things together. And this is their first time going up against a Tier 1 opponent and a team of Na'Vi's caliber. They've already taken a map. So going into Overpass, We'll have some questions to ask, but let's see. Do Mad Lions have any tricks left up their sleeve? Can they impress us any more with their T-side prowess like Nuke? Just these Glocks. Pressure towards Ivy and Simple. Well, he's on a bit of a mission right yeah, now. Yeah, he really wants to get this one done. He's already thinking up how he wants to clutch up another half, another map. If they take too long. Sweep. Yeah, he's going to get a lot of info, and it's a Glock that's holding his... Oh, the timing. This is just like Jaws, I swear to God. The shark in the water. He smells blood. Don't knife him, though. Like, Hooksy doesn't need Oh, he's going to knife him. Doesn't need him. He's only got one kill. It's 18 oh, deaths. No. Oh, it's a left click. It's another opening death. Mm. Oh, it gets worse. Hooksy's having an absolute bear. Here's Flame. Flamey firing off his shot. This is just going to be a quick and painful end to the Mad Lions eco. Thanks for coming, boys. Cleared the entire map. It's got knife by Simple. <laughs> At this point, like, can we just lose? Can can we just get over to the next map? I feel like to have the, the resilience at this point, after the type of rounds and the way that they've lost some of these to get back into it, it would be a gargantuan task. I think some of the best teams in the world would even struggle yeah, to I, mentally cobble themselves together. I think you put the five strong, strongest <laughs> mental Counter-Strike players. You can only laugh. Oops, he's laughing. Yeah, yeah he knows. He knows what this one's one to be forgotten, at least for him. Certainly not for Na'Vi. Some of the clutches have been some of the best oh. I've seen. Look at the movement. Acor bounces off the ladder and bests boom it. There's the start. It's minor, but it is a start. Movement judges all with 10 scorecards right there. That was phenomenal stuff from Acor. Ooh, right. I don't know whether his barrel's been spotted on the exit, but he is starting his advance. Flamey's trying to hold on to it. He's been spotted out. Confirms there is outside presence. Smoke on, all off. Trying to aggress sandwich. Refresh getting the duel, but losing it. Electronic playing E-Box rather appropriately, given his namesake. Flamey tanked to 17, though. So there is an advantage for Mad Lions in this round. I wonder how long that lasts. Simple's going to wrap the smoke as it fades. If you crouch... Oh, is he... Go for the nutmeg. I don't nutmeg it. As the smoke fades, he will have a slight visual advantage, but no one's home. He might get two in the back here. He certainly could, even the third if he gets the timing right. Acor's the last man to arrive to the party. Two have tugged in. He wouldn't get the info if you look brown holes. Simple. Could get false info here, and that's Acor gone. Does he turn around? He has to be aware. High ramp. Okay, more info and a death. Now Perfecto finds the loose thread. It is going to be a bomb plant. Hooksy has access. Shush to control. And a two versus three established. Shush pushing very far up. He should find Flamey here. So low. Oh, oh my god. Wow, one digged. Despite the low HP, 17 HP for Flame. He still finds another. They're coming down low ramp now. Hooksy, maybe he can find himself a couple. Quick reactions, takes off Flamey, but traded immediately. Very tidy work here from Na'Vi as they net the 15th round. Have those two AKs. They've even found themselves an AWP to drop across to Simple, moving into what could be the final round of play here on map number two. It has been a quick affair, but it's been action-packed. Even though we've only had 19 rounds of Counter-Strike played, there have been some great moments. There's Acor with that ladder movement, and Simple again with some aggression. That was actually a big kill from Perfecto there as well. That may have cut off the rotations and slowed them down on their chase of this inner bomb site. And look, the fans, they're growing, they're multiplying. And even Simple, whoa, he's in the fan cam with a gentleman in the, in the middle of the screen. So multi multitasking. Yeah, he's a very uh, powerful man. He can be in more places 
than one. Oh, he's the god of the game. So it wouldn't surprise me. But we get this round 20 underway. The AKs are out. Run boost. As they huh? make it over the flames, doing a bit of a Tony Robinson impression right there. It is crazy that. I've seen many, uh, many an uncomfortable death in Counter-Strike with just thinking you can elevate yourself above a Molotov. You're really Standing on ladders. Really, or... Yeah, on Inferno, you're trying to like climb up on the uh, the box to peak apps. No. Nope. Tony Robinson, it's just Tony Robbins. I wanted to double check. That you did. Yeah, that's oh, the see. motivational speaker. It's not... I don't know what Robinson does. Uh, he makes uh, squashed juice. Does he? Yeah, Robinson's. So. Mix Berry, one of my favorites. <laughs> Used to have it after tennis. A British branch, yes. Ah, yes. So the bomb is in inner, and that's going to be the final finish. But this IV presence is a big part of it, and that's Acor's flash for Refresh to start gathering ground. Out. Nobody home. He says it with bated breath. Yeah, the smoke covers him just enough, and now backtracks is a threat. Perfecto has to fall off. He knows he has to address it, which means there's only one man, Flamey, to receive this double push. Now they're in. Sight should be theirs. Good hold. Simple's rotated in just in time, and the bomb's now loose. Won't be able to get that one down. Perfecto finds the flank. He knew backtracks was the threat. Shush, trying to get the bomb back onto the site, and he's managed to do so. Flanks coming in now from Boomin. Oh, this is so confusing. Flanks on flanks. Flanks on flanks on flanks. Acor is the latest flank of all. Boomich coming from upper. He's got Perfecto coming in as well from the other side. Upper ramps now there's Hooks. He's lost the jewel. Shush with a lot to do. He needs this and he needs it cleanly. Spray does not really spell clean, but he gets the frag all the same. Still worried about Acor in the back lines. He's now in box holes. Fakes the ladder, but Shush peeks him. And it's Perfecto that's found as well. Neat and tidy. Shush has been one of the few shining. Consistent presences for Mad Lions. He's picked up a clutch and now a 4K to pick up a crucial fifth and invades the 10 round slew of Na'Vi in pursuit of just the final round. It's 15, now to five. Well, they kept their head above water, but this is another one of these games where it just was like a matter of time until Na'Vi are able to put one away. The buy will come back through. It is perfecto with an omission. He's just down to the deagle, but if some of his teammates are anything to go off, that might just be enough. Simple back to the big green and M4s for everybody else. Utility towards main. That's going to stop the quick push. And look at this. Simple the madman pushing the east side as yard's being taken. That's a big opener. So now with them gone, it should just be Hooksy continuing to finish what he started. Oh, oh okay. And uncharacteristic miss. But last time Simple missed a shot like that. He went on to clutch. This time Acor locks him down. And so Mad Lions three and two together, and that will break them. So I imagine this gap now yeah. will get a, a significant bit closer. Yeah, the question is, what are Navi going to go for? Because the next round they get a 2,400 loss bonus. And if you guys do the maths, 1,900 plus 2,400, it ain't a lot for Electronic to be working with. Simple, we'll have enough to buy an AWP, but right now they will just, okay, well, he's made his life a little bit more difficult there with that Deagle purchase. I thought he was just going to leave spawn with the USP. This one here might spell disaster for Na'Vi going forward. They can give away another gun round with a suboptimal buy, and that means that Mad Lions could limp in towards the double digits. It still does feel like just a matter of time, but Boomich... Mm. Zeus. Oh, 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 so close. Now running, Acor switches to his pistol. Oh. He's actually gone down. Oh, no, Wait, not like what? this. No, 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 no. Not a full eco. Not a full eco. Bomb goes down. They start to hold on to things. There is a potential flank. hooksy has been heard, and they are fast up the ladder behind him. Up pop. Boomich to draw attention. Hooksy playing around his smoke, and that's one. And uh, now I'm still stressed. Perfecto has actually taken down another fully bought up AK. Hooksy has the potential to be caught off by a simple deeg as the smoke fades. And then... In about five. Hooksy needs this frag. He's trying to nutmeg as well, but... Smoke, and Hooksy solves it. Whew. Skin of his teeth. <sighs> tense one. Very tense right there. That could have definitely fallen apart. Now, this is what I was talking about. When you see the buy for Na'Vi coming through into this next round, you'll note a couple of key emissions here. Simple wants to AWP. He might be... Oh, actually, with that Deagle buy, I'm not sure if he left him enough money. But here's just the last few frags to round out... Mad Lion 7th. So you can see here, Simple doesn't have an AWP. He's actually had to go for an M4. They don't have a diffuse kit. They're not working with many Molotovs whatsoever. Just one on Simple. A, a couple of smokes. They need frags. And, well, Boomich, he's got one and a half. Yeah, that was Acor, the hardest hitter. Roy, however, does catch Electronic. And now things do look favorable, even more so. As Flamey falls, a quick take onto the yard. Look what it's done. Perfecto. Simple. I kind of like Simple's position. There's a chance with his M4A1 as well. 
He can take a head without being called. Be diligent here, Mad Lions, making sure they're not rushing into this, using their utility. Bomb, just waiting, just postured for any pushes, and Hooksy, he's dealing with any inner aggression. So this is safe stuff, but if Jules get isolated right now, if Simple's able to swing out and find a frag, the pieces of this puzzle might start falling apart very quickly. They've really put the brakes on. No more audibles. Hooksy taking a risk towards this site. And if Perfecto gets a good timing here, he'll get a freebie. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that was a timing. Gives him the warning shot, but still finds it a two versus three then for Simple and Perfecto. The rest of the Danes start to move towards the outer site. Simple's got the responsibility of Pomp Dog. He's also cautious of backtracks, and that's Green Train. The refresh crosses from. Get that bomb down. Can it be contested? Oh, Roy's lost his life. The bomb does go down, but now a 2v2. They've overcome the first two frags. It's Perfecto that has to clutch up, and Shush does go down. Looking for the second, and it's over. Just like that, a two versus four. It's exactly the same way we've seen Na'Vi pick up rounds throughout this one. Mad Lions just setting their sights now. It's going to have to come down to our third map. It's going to have to come down to overpass. Change. 